I recalled some people saying that we were like an ocean, imagining the huge blue-green depths of it. I thought of us being the drops in the ocean. Of those drops, the ocean was made. Some of us floated on the waves and reflected the sunshine and moonlight. Some drops carried boats and ships. Some were constantly smashed on the rocks, while others were jumping up and down. And swirling, creating worlds. Each drop has a different fate, a different way of being the ocean," agreed Ramiata. I continued my story, and further focused on those jumping, swirling drops. They were very loud by nature, and other drops, when near them. Were often pulled into their whirl. Some drops ended up in the center of the whirl, some just on its edges. That picture made me laugh. It seems to be, I said, that we drops keep watching other drops, and often come to conclusions about them. And then we say. Oh, look at that drop, hopping up and down! She's created such a big whirl of drops. She must be special. A better drop she is, a true star, a great politician, or a fascinating celebrity. Ramietta smiled. Indeed, Her Majesty, it might work that way. The drops from my story. We're now observing those being smashed against the rocks, and I could almost hear them talking about how hard and painful the smashed drops' job must have been. That they were probably punished for something bad they had done, or they were stupid enough to work so hard. Oh, we must be so much better. Than they are, some were saying, because all we need to do is just float here, on top of this pleasant wave, and reflect the light. We must be privileged, special drops. The master nodded slowly, carefully watching me, as I was unfolding the story. His eyes were now the same shade of deep blue green. As the ocean, I had created in mind, and that's how we program ourselves and others. I said, while jumping up and down, we, the active and creative drops, cause whirls and big, famous splashes, and yes, it's fun. Yet creating a whirl or splash is not the most important thing. That's what I sense. He asked, "What was then the most important thing?" And with that question, his eyes turned gray, like the statues, silently witnessing all that ever had happened here, in the chamber of seven powers. I looked at his eyes, and the stone figures, and I clearly understood. There and then, that every single drop in the ocean had its own unique job. Through that job, we learned and also expanded, gaining wisdom and knowledge through our experiences. Every single drop was equally important. None was better or worse. Everyone was unique. And could not be dismissed, replaced, or forgotten. Every single experience of a single drop was the source of wisdom for the entire ocean.